warning you, pal. You better start working with me. Don't take that! Oh, oh no! This has got to stop. I'm starving! Oh, me too. I am famished. Yes. And I've eaten yes. all my toenails and yours too, and I'm still hungry. Yes, I'd wondered where they got to. Oh, no! You know, somebody's going to have to go over there and talk to him and sort this out, you know. Huh? Yes. Oh, good idea. Right off you go, then. Huh? Oh. Ow. That really hurt. And I have allergies and limps in my arms and things. I, I shouldn't be doing this, no, but I can't I'm walk. walking over here now towards a giant French rat with a meat hammer in his hand. Nothing to be afraid of. Well, well, what did he say, eh? Say I didn't get... I mean, he said yes. um, he'd like to talk to the captain. Yes, that's what he said. <laughs> oh, the captain, eh? Yes. Well, well, just yes. tell him he can't because... The captain's just not in! But, Captain Rash, you're the captain, Captain Rash. Ah. Mm. Good point. Yeah. Yes, good point. What is it? Oh, look, go on. Have another go. No, so I will not You're it. joking me? No. <sighs> right. Well, crew, uh, captain's got to do what a captain's got to do, oh, eh? Fit you, oh, stupid! Hey, oh. hey! Oh. Yeah, yeah, right, here uh, I go. Uh, Deep breaths. Okay. <laughs> Stay close behind me, won't you? Oh, oh that's right. That's right. Here I go. Ah. <laughs> Maurice! <laughs> we were all just wondering, um... How are you getting on, you know? Face! Yes. Well, it, it's just that we're all a little peckish. Peckish, yes. With not eating for four days. I told you before. Yeah. No food till I finish this jigsaw. No. Uh, it was a prezi from Granny Morag from Montpellier in the home country. Lovely. <laughs> right you are. Uh, I leave you to it, shall right. I? You do that. Yes. Ah, uh, no, my captain. It is pepper and sneeze, probably with some stupid treasure. <laughs> We're back! Mm. Do you know, I really hate those two. Mm. Oh, perhaps they found some food. Food? Mm. I love you guys. Have I told you that recently, huh? 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 Oh, Peppa, is it food, huh? No, Big Boss, it's not edible, but... It's your favorite kind of treasure. Is it all shiny? Yeah. Oh, it's simply divine. Tortilla! Oh, oh, sorry, my captain. It's just that uh, I'm so hungry, and sometimes these have chocolate in them. <laughs> oh, of course, if it did have chocolate, I would give it to you, my captain. Mm, yes. It's not like the coins we usually find. Is it a special type? Yes, it's an amusement token. Oh, oh, amusement token! Oh, please, 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 please! Oh, Captain Rush, Captain Rush! Can we go to the amusements, please? I want to beat my high score on Kung Fu Digi Midgets. <laughs> no! It's far too dangerous. Too dangerous. Maybe you're right. I did get thumb strain last time from overuse of the, the turbo monkey chop. Yeah. Yes, how fascinating for you. But let me tell you of a token tale of total terror. <laughs> Neville Needy was a nervous young chap. Yeah, we'll fly. So but despite his neighbors, Ben and Bob, the Bacon Brothers, being a bit boisterous to say the least, he was delighted that they let him tag along on their adventures. <laughs> but sometimes they got up to things that Neville wasn't quite sure about. Ah, oh, like wrapping yourself in sticky tape and running through a field of dandelions. What? Huh? Oh, it's quite invigorating, believe me. Yes, how fascinating for you. Huh? Anyway, Ben and Bob Bacon were quite the pair, and poor innocent Neville didn't realize that they were simply using him as a decoy for their various little scams. But the night they went to the amusements was the night they went too far. They broke the record on the dance marathon machine. Huh? Oh, will you can it, you oh. vile repetitive rodent? Oh. <laughs> oh. 
they stood in front of the ghost train. Bob and Ben sent Neville over to find out how much a token costs, as there didn't seem to be a sign anywhere. <laughs> It was another ruse, of course. Whilst Neville questioned the ticket vendor, the Bacon Brothers snuck into a car without paying, and away they went. No, I do not like the ghost train. Yes. No, no, with its going around and around, and what with the horses going up and down and up, and down, and all that jingly music, it makes me dizzy. <laughs> Georgia, yes? that's the merry-go-round, yes? not the ghost train. <laughs> Shut it, you! And besides, it is you that is wrong. <laughs> Everybody knows the merry-go-round is where you go round and round in the electric bumping cars. Are you quite finished, you rancid, ranting rodent? <laughs> yeah, you're upsetting Captain Rash. Pipe down, will you? <laughs> not Are uh, you! Oh, uh, sorry, my captain. Uh, please continue with your uh, wonderful tale. Mm, yes. Neville was annoyed that the Bacon Brothers had used him again to sneak their way onto the ride without paying. But if the truth be told, he was quite relieved as he wasn't too keen on the ghost train. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Bacon Boys were having a great time, and all for free. until the ghost train simply stopped. What? In the middle of the ride? Now that would be scary. Eh? Indeed, but not as scary as the ghostly conductor who magically appeared in front of them. and Bob got quite a fright, but then started laughing as the ghoulish Ticketmaster demanded to see their tickets. And of course, they had no tickets. Exactly. And when they couldn't produce any, the Ticketmaster was not one bit happy. The brothers told the ghoul to get out of the way and let them finish the ride in peace. But he didn't budge. No tickets, no ride, he shrieked. That sent a shiver down the spines of the normally unflappable Bacons. No tickets, no ride! Without warning, there was a bright flash of light, and Ben and Bob suddenly found themselves in a ghostly courtroom. Oh, ghostly courtroom? Yes. Ben and Bob were now in shackles as a frightful-looking judge appeared. The conductor glared at them from the witness box and repeated, No ticket, no ride! The judge's gavel slammed down as the Bacon Brothers were sentenced. later, mm -hmm. Neville returned to the same amusement park with his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. He recalled the night all those years ago when the Bacon Brothers had so mysteriously disappeared. We'd waited outside the ghost train until closing time, but they never showed. In fact, they hadn't been seen since.
Oh, my goodness, sir. <laughs> what a, a good story that is. <laughs> Anyone for badminton? Huh? <sighs> I'm not finished yet, you rancid rodent. Uh, I was afraid you were going to say that. After a little coaxing, Neville's girlfriend persuaded him to go on his first ghost train ride. Of course, it wasn't half as scary as he thought it would be. Even the spooky conductor didn't really frighten Neville. Neville was the Dungeon of Terror! <laughs> Neville nearly jumped out of his skin when he saw it. <laughs> the Bacon Brothers! That's right. They were the centerpiece. <gasps> that was the first and last time Neville ever went on a ghost train, and it turned out to be the end of the line for the Bacon Brothers. <laughs> Uh, they were stuck at Terror Junction. Platform Fear on the Chattanooga Choo Choo. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you, Tortilla. Yes, it is my pleasure. I have another one. It was a whaleway station. You know, whale. Woo. <laughs> uh, Get it, whale. You know. uh, thank you, Tortilla. Again, it was a pleasure. Let Look, think when it. I say, thank you, Tortilla, what I actually mean is, shut up, Tortilla, or oh. my boot will engage with your bum. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> hey, is it dinner time yet? I'm starving. Yes, oh. hopefully he'll have finished that confounded jigsaw by now. Right, all done. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Maurice. It's simply marvellous. Ah, uh, Maurice, one piece left to go. Wait, no, oh. there's no pieces left to go. Uh. Oh, wait a sec. Right, no food for anybody oh. till it's finished. Uh. Has anyone seen the missing piece? <laughs> hey. Huh. Oh, dear. No. Oh, Give it back. Yeah. But I'm so hungry. And the clouds, they look so fluffy and tasty. I couldn't resist. Oh, they're so chewy, too. Hey, hey. Right, get him. <laughs> okay, I'll give it back to you if you promise to be nice to me. Uh, no! Get him! They have to promise to be nice to me. Okay. okay, I'll hand over the piece. Oh, oh no. Oh. Don't tell me you swallowed it. Uh, yes. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I guess you'll have to wait till it comes out naturally. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's nothing to worry about. I am quite regular. Oh. Don't tell us anymore. It should arrive in the morning. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. 